We take a drive to Emory and I can't help but pick into her brain. Venture into the hotel industry. Initially, mm. we used to, you know, uh, in education, remember we used to have Utari Hotel. Yeah. Utari Hotel, uh, most people, most of the graduates from the Utari Hotel would straight get jobs, they were the best. Mm -hmm. uh, so they had the school and then they had the hotel. Mm -hmm. So maybe originally that was my idea. Mm -hmm. But that I can become another Utari because Utari now is, is not where it was those, those days. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have changed for Utari has changed mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. so, so we were feeling that uh, since we, the, this, this industry is doing well and uh, there are so many hotels opening up, maybe you could also now have be an Utari and maybe be able to, our students, all of them would, be, would have jobs. Eh? Mm -hmm. But then when we got into the petitions, you know, we asked for an architect to draw a hotel, we found that it's a very expensive, very expensive project. project. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, but since we had already, I had already promised my daughter a project, I mm -hmm. felt that now I could not stop it. So we decided to build the hotel but make it uh, a proper like any other hotel, but give our students opportunities. Now, when we opened, we did interviews. We, mm -hmm. we, we advertised for vacancies, mm -hmm. but our students were coming out the best. Mm -hmm. So we employed so many, mm -hmm. them, very, very many. And then that gave me a lot of satisfaction. And we felt that uh, if we make it purely for training, we may not be able to recover the money uh, mm -hmm. spent. So we decided to now put, you know, suppose now it has accommodation, it has everything, the spa, um, we don't have a swimming pool, and the rest we, we have. Eh? <laughs> so our students go there, within the sessions, like the session we found, they will practice and practice, then come to the hotel and observe it in action, the others in action. Then, Two of them will remain, they'll go to another one, two of them will remain for one week. Um. Then they go back. Talking about the hotel industry, a little history for you. The Kenya hotel industry evolved at the cost due to Arab traders and the railway line construction workers. Their presence necessitated the building of the first catering establishment at the coast, which was known as the Grand Hotel of Mombasa, built at the present site of Mena Hotel. After the country fell under the British colonization, there was need to access Uganda and the railway was constructed leading to more catering units being established along the railway line for the workers. By 1960, some hotels such as Norfolk had reached international five-star ratings. Later in 1975, hospitality training was also started at Kenya Utali College, though it had a limited capacity. To supply the growing demand, there was proliferation of private and public university and colleges which had a varied curriculum. To date, the industry keeps growing gradually and over time creating employment opportunities. Back to Emory. How long has um, Emerald been there for? One year this month. One year? Oh. So next month, July. Next month, July. So you're yet to celebrate the birthday. Yeah. Okay. Fashion. It's, all, it's so all around mm -hmm. that uh, sometimes you don't know why you are doing what you are doing. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Yeah. You do things and then just you discover it's passion. Eh? So now you're... Mm, I'm, I'm not easily discouraged uh -huh. because of my past experience. When I see like what I've done, put somewhere on the wall, thank you. You know, I got 
so many thank yous. <laughs> so many thank yous. And I see, I feel like, wow, oh, I think I, I need to do, you know, it gives me energy. It's like fueling me. You just need to do to more. Get, yeah, if somebody appreciates, let me tell you, if somebody appreciates something small, just know that you need another person to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. yeah? and, and I believe that uh, when, the more you give, your time, your energy, your everything, even your money, the more you give, the more you get. There's nobody in this history, I have read in books, who has become broke because of giving. Mm. And you know, some people are generous. Some people are, let's count the whole world. Eh? There are some people who are very, very generous, but nobody has ever been broke because of giving. Because of giving. You, give, you give two, you get three. Mm. You, give, you give back, you get back in, 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 in numbers. So that is what keeps me going. That uh, there is nothing that should bring me down, no matter what it is. Yeah? So now, um, guys, just to bring you up to speed, we are at the Amaro Hotel and it, it, we're having lunch actually and the food is amazing, Daisy, by the way. Thank you. It's amazing and um, it's been a long day of uh, getting to know Lizzie, getting to get into her life and I must say I am completely inspired and I am so in love with the type of person that she is, her character, her personality, she's such a warm person. And um, I'd be lying if I did not say in bold words that this right here is the proper definition of a boss lady. And may you continue inspiring more and more.